everyone, it's me, Nina. I hope you're having a blessed Sunday. I am going to do a voiceover on this because we've got the air conditioner on and Steve is talking on the phone to his mom and um, I didn't want to, you know, try to talk over that. I wanted him to enjoy talking to his mama. So a voiceover will do just fine. Um, I've also got the speed turned up a little bit, as you might be able to tell. But um, Steve got home from church, and I am fixing him something to eat. So we fixed the corn the other day that we got out there at that market, and it's really good. So I'm going to fix him some corn and some bratwurst, which is about his favorite. I don't like bratwurst, so I fix it just for him. But I do the corn the way that I've done it for the last several years. And I thought that I might go ahead and share it again in case anyone is new. And by the way, if you are new, please, please subscribe and share our videos with your loved ones and friends. And uh, trying to make this channel grow, we don't even have 3,000 people yet. And we've been doing this close to seven years. So, yeah, we need some help there. But anyway, so what I do is I put water in a pan. Oh, you'll see it over there behind there, the blue one. And boil the water. No salt. Don't put any salt in it. And once it starts boiling, you turn the stove off and you set your timer for about 10 minutes. You put the corn in and cover it up and just let it sit there. For 10 minutes and it can sit up to about 25 minutes without it getting tough or anything but I'm telling you in my opinion that's the easiest and the best way that I have found to make corn on the cob so hope that you guys give that a try as we get that all finished I'm going to go ahead and read one of the stories out of that mornings with Jesus and this one is Sunday August the 4th and it says through a new ministry at church, Nelda was assigned to be my mentor. At our first meeting, I shared that I was between jobs as a teacher and nervous about transitioning from private to public school. As a former educator herself, she reminded me to trust Jesus with the details of my career. I also mentioned my concern about the added expenses we were facing now that our oldest son was entering high school. The academic year hadn't even started yet, and there were already talks of school trips that would cost several hundred dollars. I had no idea where that money would come from. Nelda's eyes lit up, and she leaned forward in her chair. I know, she said. We'll sell pot pies. She explained that her signature pot pies were in such demand that she only needed to mention them and she'd be flooded with orders. She often used the proceeds to fund mission trips and nonprofit opportunities. Several months later, my family gathered in in Nelda's kitchen and helped assemble more than 70 pot pies that Nelda sold on our behalf. I was overcome with gratitude. Nelda had shown me a perfect picture of the love of Jesus through her words, actions, and her delicious pot pies. That story was written by Emily E. Ryan. And then the bottom little faith step says, What act of kindness, big or small, can you do today to share the love of Jesus? Isn't that a nice little story? If you have something or an idea that you can help somebody with, that's an awesome thing. All right, as you can see, I'm plating up Steve's plate, and he ate it all. He's still on the phone with his mama. We're blessed to have both our moms still. I love that man. All right, I'm going to put these two up. And every one of you, continue to have a blessed day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. It's quiet, oh so still here